welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going through my first page of my bucket list. I have the entire thing here. It is massive and I'm doing each page um, by each page in its own video except for the last couple. So yeah, let's just jump straight in. This is my first page. You guys, um, if you've seen my previous bucket list overview video, you will be familiar with this. If you haven't, I'll link it below. I'm just gonna zoom you guys down. As you can see, this is very crinkled. It goes through the walls. I've had the same sheet for ages. I probably should have printed out a new one for you guys, but whatever. So I'm just gonna start at the top. I'm gonna go through each thing and say why it's on my bucket list and explain a little bit about it and whether I've done it or not. So my first category here is personal life. Under this I have get married, have at least three children, adopt at least one child, become a foster parent, build my dream house, own a holiday house and get a tattoo. A lot of this, if, um, I don't really know how to explain it. A lot of this for women at least, or girls, or whatever, females of any age, a lot of this is sort of relevant, like get married, have at least three children, build my dream house, like that's all really relevant. The adopt at least one child and become a foster parent, they are very specific to me because I'm very, um, I'm very into like helping people and children in particular and stuff. I want to be a psychologist. Um, so yeah, and I, I don't want to have children and bring more kids into the world if I can't help the ones that are already here that need help. So that's why I want to adopt and foster. I want to adopt from overseas and I want to become a foster parent for kids in need in Australia. Um, getting married and having children, obviously, as I said, is um, a given at least three children. I want to have a big family, so that's very important to me to have at least three him work my way up from there. Um, build my dream house. <sighs> if I'm going to be realistic, that's not going to happen because it's extensive, but um, I do have my dream house planned out in a sketch and then I also have a more realistic scaled down version that's not as extreme and not as grand and things like that. So I do have both. Own a holiday house. This can even be the form of a, like an on-site caravan in a caravan park. For me, that's still a holiday house because it's somewhere that's permanent that you can always get away to. And get a tattoo. Um, I've wanted the same few tattoos since I was really young. And I want to get... A I've wanted the same few tattoos since I was really young and I have added to them and changed them up a bit since but I'm sticking to them. My next section is career. Under this I have get a bachelor's degree, a master's degree and doctorate degree, become a fully accredited child psychologist, start my own business and be nationally recognised in my career. Originally when I planned this out, when I originally made my bucket list, uh, I started it when I was about seven, I'd say. Um, when that originally happened, all of this was surrounded about my psychology degree. As I've gotten older, things have changed slightly. I still want to get my bachelor's degree in psychology, which is what I'm currently working towards. My master's degree I want to get in, um, in psychology as well, in clinical and forensic. Forensic as a minor, clinical as a major. I want to get my doctorate in um, clinical psychology as well. If I can move into psychiatry, however, I would like to do that so I can work in hospitals and stuff. Become a fully credited child psychologist. At the time, that's what I thought it was called. I was seven, maybe ten at the oldest. Now I know that it's a clinical child, a clinical psychologist specializing in children. Um, or a clinical child psychologist um, but at, at the time that's what worked for me so I'm leaving there just to bring a little bit more of that childhood back into it. Start my own business. Originally the plan for this one was for it to be my own private practice. Though I still want to own my own private practice I've actually started my own business. You can see here it has a little cross in it. I started my own business 
Try that again. Started my own business, Stitched by Steph. Um, I'll put a link to my Instagram and Facebook page down below if you're interested in checking it out. It's um, a costume design, dressmaking, nails type business specializing for drag queens. And then be nationally recognized in my career. I want that to be for psychology specifically because I want to do something now. I want to bring something to the table that's um, really going to help with the psychological world, particularly for children. And if I can sort of tie a couple of these things together um, like with my foster parenting and things like that, if it can be something like that, I'd really like to do it. Next up is sports. For someone who's not a sporty person at all, I actually have quite a lot of stuff on this particular list. So I want to ride a jet ski, I want to learn to surf, learn to ski, learn to figure skate, dive in the Great Barrier Reef, swim in all of the Great Lakes, go zorbing, take a circus class, take a pole dancing class, and master zumba. Uh, yep, won't frame. Okay. So ride a jet ski, learn to surf, and learn to ski. I actually do know the very, very basics of skiing, but I haven't crossed it off because I'm not confident enough to do it sort of all the time. I want to eventually go on holidays yearly or like annually or biannually to the snow so that I can ski and so that my kids can learn to ski and things like that, but that's obviously very far in the future. But I would love to learn to ski properly. Learning to surf, I would also like to do because I've always either lived close to the beach or my holiday destinations have involved the beach and surfing would just really accentuate that so I'd love to learn to surf. Riding a jet ski, my parents owned jet skis before I was born and unfortunately they sold them before I, beforehand, um, before I came along so I never got to ride them and I always saw them at Foster where I used to go on holidays and I've always thought they looked so much fun so I really want to do that. Learn to figure skate, that's been something on my bucket list. <coughs> since the, excuse me, since the first time I ever went skating, ice skating, I'd love to learn to figure skate um, and do like twirls and stuff. I just think it's really pretty, you know, so yeah. Dive in the Great Pirate Reef. If this isn't on your bucket list, man, you've got some problems because it is absolutely beautiful and that is one of the biggest things that I want to do. It doesn't have to be diving. I don't have to have like a scuba diving license or anything like that. I can just go snorkeling, but I just want to dive in the Great Barrier Reef. I want to see it all. Swim in all of the Great Lakes. Definitely want to do that. Um, I can't even remember all the names of them off the top of my head now. Lake Michigan, Lake Erie. Erie? Erie? Lake Air? I don't remember. But the, the five Great Lakes, I want to swim in all of them. Go zorbing. I just think that looks so much fun. Like those, those big blob balls and you just kind of roll around in them. Oh, that's awesome. Take a circus class. I'd love to do um, trampolining or trapeze or something like that. Do the pole dancing class because it's fun. Duh. And muscle zumba. I just want to do it for fitness, really. Um. Collections is my next one. I have three here back in frame. Um, I used to collect stickers, but now I'm a planner girl, obviously, so stickers just kind of happen to be there and like stationary and stuff, so none of that counts. I want to collect dollhouses, magnets, and board games. Dollhouses I've wanted to collect probably for a few years now. This is one of my more recent additions to the list. Um, I just love the idea of those really big grand like dollhouses that you, you build and they have lighting that works and all the furniture and the tiny little food and cutlery and things like that. I really want to have a room with a collection of those in, a, in my house. My magnets. Um, I want to collect magnets because my mum collects, or I wouldn't say she collects, but she's always had a collection of magnets. So has my grandmother. Um, and I also feel like because I want to travel, which you'll see in later videos, um, magnets are something that you can find everywhere. Like every place has a magnet. And if I buy a magnet for every place in a souvenir shop, then, you know, I'm on my way. And board games. I want to collect board games just because it's fun. And I feel like a collection of board games can really just take you a long way in life. And I know that probably sounds so stupid, but if you have a ton of board games, 
then there's always something to do and there's always a conversation piece and there's always um, like an entertainment value that doesn't involve electricity. Some of my fondest memories from my childhood and stuff, like we weren't massively into board games, but we did have a fair few and there would be, you know, um, Monopoly for example, there would be the big, like everyone would get bored and you'd end up throwing, the, like you'd throw the board before you got to finish a game, so it was always a challenge to try and finish a game and some of them were educational and some of them, like my Harry Potter ones and stuff, they were just fun. Cluedo was always a massive thing, like, oh, you're cheating, you're cheating, you know, like it was always a big thing, so it's just kind of something that I just sort of naturally want to collect. Last up on my first sheet is animals, and this is just things I want to do involving animals. So I want to go whale watching, ride a camel, ride an elephant, watch baby turtles hatch, ride a horse through the ocean, swim with dolphins, swim with sharks and stingrays. This whole list is something that I can accomplish really, really quickly. Go whale watching, I've never done before, but I really, really want to, and there are places in Australia that offer whale watching, so I definitely want to look into that in the next few years. Ride a camel and ride an elephant, I've actually done, checked off here as well, along with swim with dolphins. There's a place near me that you actually get in a net and the dolphins swim on top you, alongside you and you are swimming in the net. Um, it's like off the side of a boat and the boat's moving, so you're swimming in this net and the dolphins come and swim inside you and you can touch the, like pat them and stuff. It's really fun. Um, Watch Baby Turtles Hatch. There are places in Australia that offer this as an experience and I definitely want to do that. Ride a horse through the ocean. You can do that on a lot of beaches here in Australia, so I definitely want to do that. Swim with Sharks and Stingrays is actually a place about half an hour from me that I can do that at and I just haven't done it yet. So, yeah. So that's it for this uh, page one of my bucket list, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Some things in these categories that are on your bucket list. I would love to know what your bucket list consists of and I feel like this is a good way to break it down for people if your bucket list is huge like mine. Also go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss any more of the videos in this series and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!